Now for the rest of the matches this weekend, we're pick just, some winners. We're yeah. going to rapid fire this with a with a tip and yep. a bet in each game. Man United a buck forty, the draw four seventy five. Crystal Palace eight fifty. Where are you looking? Yeah, look, I'm just going to take Man U. I think they've been too strong, but I think both teams could score. I, I don't mind Crystal Palace and Zaha has scored against them multiple times. So I think uh, them. Let's remember Man he U, played for Man United. He for did play season. for Man United. Man United been looking to get him back for a while, and anyway, nah, he'll never go back. But he, he's a freak, so I think he could score and get. Yeah, Maybe like a two-one, so Man U and both teams score three dollars yep. ten. Yep, I've got Manchester United to win and Rashford to score, oh, which Rashford. is double. Ding me, that's two dollars <laughs> thirty. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty good bet with Ladbrokes, because I think he scored in ten of ten games since he's. Oh, uh, he's been amazing. Yeah, yeah, since Christmas. So I like that, that as well. <laughs> uh, United to win. Brentford a dollar ninety. The draw three sixty. Southampton four twenty. Hashtag nice. Uh, <laughs> Brentford love what the bees are doing. God. Give strength to the twenty-one dollars for them to make the top six. They're going to win. <laughs> yeah, you should probably get on that. Yeah, I am I, on that. That's I why I said it. Brentford a dollar ninety. I think you've been backing them for the last three or four weeks. I've been backing them since, since Christmas. Year, it's yeah, been, it's been good for me. So they every game they're pretty much a dollar ninety or more. So get on them because they're Brentford. The market's just like it's Brentford. Yeah, they're like oh, they can't be that good, but they've been really good. So get on them. Yep, uh, Brighton a dollar thirty-three. Uh, the draw five twenty five. Born with nine fifty could be missing a zero here. Uh, <laughs> Brighton will smash them. I'm taking Brighton minus one and a half. The uh, Asian handicap line at two dollars with. Blue I forgot bet. you could even do that. Yeah, yeah. That's your bet. Yeah, I haven't done that in a while. Uh, but then, um, yeah, I'm taking Brighton as well. But yep. over, over over two and a half, you get a dollar ninety one for the uh, blue bet double. We love it. So yeah, okay, bet. so you're looking at like a two one three one kind of thing. Oh, I think a uh, yeah three nil. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, I've got because I, I half, also think two, Brighton's two the best team to back in the Premier League right now. They're in, they're yep. amazing. Yep. Uh, to what is a very interesting game at the Molyneux Wolves are four dollars. The draw three seventy five and Liverpool a dollar ninety. Can't believe I'm saying this. I'm tipping Liverpool. <laughs> I'm never uh, tipping Liverpool. I think we said we weren't <laughs> going to tip Liverpool, but <laughs> I'm still finding a way to do it. Bloody hate uh, them. It's cost them multis. <laughs> um, Liverpool have won their last eleven against Wolves. Their last three wins at the Molyneux have been one nil. That correct score one nil is eight dollars. So let's go with that. Yeah, correct score gives you good value actually. Yeah. but it's not easy. But yeah, no. good value. Um, yeah, I said the other week I'm, I don't want to tip Liverpool. I, yep. I don't know if that's because I've lost some multis with them or I'm actually you're also a tip Chelsea them. fan. Yeah, and I'm also a Chelsea fan. But we drew to them last week and they looked they actually looked horrible. Which Chelsea could have probably got a win. Uh, Wolves drew to them a couple of weeks ago in the FA Cup. So they, they yeah, never but had, then Liverpool then, then Liverpool beat, them. beat them. But it was only one nil, and I think Wolves can keep this a bit closer. Know what they're doing now. So Wolves double chance. I love a double chance. Wolves or draw Nerd. is uh, one dollar ninety five. I think two dollars on some, up to two dollars on some yep. sites. And they've only lost one of their last five. So I'm just going to take them and um, maybe Liverpool get a win. And I can back them next week, but I don't want to back yeah. them at the moment. No, no, that's fair. You don't want to back teams into form. You want to see them come into form and happy to lose money. It's like a thing with horses. Don't try and back them into form. If they're going terrible, they're going terrible. <laughs> right. I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. uh, Newcastle, a dollar sixty-two. The draw, three seventy-five. West Ham, six dollars. Newcastle will win. Yeah, surely they've been, they've been amazing. They just keep uh, charging up the lat, the table. Uh, I think I think Newcastle win to nil. Yep. I think West Ham just can't score goals at the moment. Two dollars fifty. Newcastle win to nil. They finally had a goal scored against them last night. Newcastle, Southampton. They did, against yeah, them, which yeah. Is but they funny. still have six uh, clean sheets in a row in the Prem. Yeah, so, so they're going it's right. pretty cool. Uh, this is a. My favorite game of the weekend, and we didn't dig deep into it. Uh, Nottingham, $2.63. The draw, three forty Leeds, $2.70. <laughs> this is your favorite I, game. <laughs> I love what Knotts have done. They're just like, let's buy players 29 on a budget. Players. They've 29 bought 29 players, players this <laughs> That's, season. It's They're going to have awesome. to get rid of 10 players. Well, At least did. people like, are worried walking in. Seven went out online. They're going to have to get more. <laughs> but they brought in Kalen Navis from PSG. One, one of, you know, he's, he's, a, he's, he's older now, now but, but he's, he's a great good. goalkeeper is, for them. He's on loan for the rest of the year. Chris Wood's come across from Newcastle, a great a great signing loan with an option uh, to buy. He's, I reckon he's Well, no, for them he is because he wasn't- He can finish. He, he, can he finish. was very good at Newcastle last year when they needed him. Yeah. And he wasn't obviously getting as much of a chance this year with all the attacking prowess Newcastle now have. Yep. Danilo, he's come across from Brazil. He's a very good central defensive he's midfielder. Good, he, was yeah. in, he was in the best uh, team of the year uh, last year in the- I can't even pronounce the league now. I'm not even going to try it for. <laughs> he's come from Palmeiras, and he won the title with them last year. So he's got really good experience in a top league. Yep. And he chose knots over a lot of other European clubs. So I like that. Awesome. All that being said, I'm tipping knots to win. And I think this will be a fun game. Knots. I think it could be a two fun and a half yeah. goals is four dollars. Yeah, I really like the two and a half goals just just by itself. I think it's around a dollar eighty ish or something like that. Yep. But I'm just going to take the draw. I think. Both these teams, it could all be a two all right. yeah. or something like that, and you get three dollars. A fun draw. A fun draw. We love a fun draw. Just. All out attacks that don't have 
yeah, very good defenders at all. So a draw, I think, is, yeah, good value. Yep. No, I like it. Uh, that's all the games through for the weekend. Have you got a multi for a stats guy? Uh, I will finish with a multi. I like, don't mind, as I said before, double chance. Not all of these are double chance, but full or more draw, I think, against Chelsea is good yep. value. So that's one leg. And then Aston Villa head-to-head, as I said, was one of my best bets of the weekend. And then Wolves will draw as well, a bit more risky against Liverpool. But that gets up to $8.55 for a three-leg multi. So your multi could be ruined by the time you have your cornflakes on Saturday morning. <laughs> nah, uh, yeah, it could be, but it yeah. won't. <laughs> yeah, I've got a five-legger as well. I'm um, going a bit more expansive. Arsenal and over two and a half goals. United head to head. Brentford head to head. Brighton minus one and a half. And Newcastle head to head gets you seventeen ninety nine. Sounds pretty like good. I'm selling you a car. Yeah, like, uh, that, that's a blue bet. <laughs> seventeen ninety nine. Yeah, exactly. It's on sale <laughs> now. Buy now. Buy now. now. <laughs> uh, if you want head to head for all of them, it's uh, seven dollars ninety seven with blue bet. That's as still well. good as well. Yeah. Yep. Best bets time, stats guy. What's your best bet of the weekend? Yeah, I've talked up Brighton on the side, and I think yep. in the podcast the last couple of weeks, I think they're just really informed. You got Matoma who's kicking goals over the back of his head. He's been on fire. So Brighton win and over two and a half v Bournemouth. Dollar ninety one. Aggressive as a best bet. I love it. Yeah, I, I, look I just, at you, stats guy. I'm going to be better with this. Dollar uh, ninety one. I didn't do a double chance as well for you. So yeah, get around yep. that. What uh, about you? Brentford, Brentford, yeah, very odd I, sort just, of team I just, I just, I just think the price is too good. Like obviously, you know, Arsenal a dollar forty, but it's like. I think we're going to make a rule here. Your best bet has to be over a dollar, over a dollar sixty. I was oh, going to say I dollar fifty, but over a dollar sixty. <laughs> yeah. yeah, unlike my India last night. Yeah, yeah, night. yeah. One dollar forty-five. <laughs> Does it matter? That they, should be illegal. Yeah, but they won by like two hundred runs. 